What is up guys, it's Chris. Today we're going to be talking about E3 and some of the things Xbox and PlayStation announced. So let's get right into it. Before we begin, I'd like you guys to take a second and go subscribe. I'm still doing that giveaway at 10 subscribers, so subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe if you want to win some games. Alright, so let's start off with Xbox. Xbox announced the new place New PlayStation 4, what? I'm going to leave that in there just because it's so funny. Alright, let's try again. So Xbox announced the new Xbox One S. Which is smaller, not as small as they made it out in the video though. It's it's smaller, but not as small. Has a built-in power brick, so that's amazing. PlayStation has been doing that forever, and has 4K support. They also announced that you can now design your controller with custom colors, over 8 million different color combinations, which is only eighty dollars, twenty dollars less than colorware. So that's great. Guess who's gonna lose a lot of business? Colorware is. So that's great. They also announced a new controller along with the Xbox One S. It has a textured grip and it's Bluetooth. I'm not sure if that's just for the Xbox One S or if you can buy that for the Xbox One regular. They also announced a new Gears of War 4 limited edition Xbox One Elite controller. It looks pretty cool, but I wouldn't buy it because I don't have $150 to spend on a controller. Along with the Gears of War 4 controller, they announced Gears of War 4. Looks pretty cool. Along with Gears of War 4, they also announced 8 other games which include Forza Horizon 3, Halo Wars 2, Killer Instinct Season 3, Crackdown 3, and others. And that's just about all that Xbox announced. Now let's go on to PlayStation. PlayStation announced the PlayStation VR will release October 13th and start at $400 and have 50 launch titles. They also announced 6 PlayStation VR games, 25 PlayStation 4 games, and 3 PlayStation Vita games. And as a bonus, Razer announced the their new VR, the second version, and it's $200 cheaper than Oculus. Razer also announced the new Razer Naga Hex V2, which has a weird ring of buttons on the side. I don't get it. I don't like them. I just use a normal Razer mouse. I love Razer mice, but the right, weird buttons on the hand, fingers, I don't get it. Mice are made for clicking, not typing. Thank you guys so much for watching to this point. I know you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my sponsors down below. Peace.